Hi, this is Dr. Lanapest for iSmashPhone.com, and today we have a very interesting prototype to show to you. This device is called the Hive. Uh, it's available from ScreenDoorStudio.com. Uh, it's going to cost $45. This is actually a Kickstarter project, and the makers are looking for a little over 3,000 people to pre-order this to make this uh, a practicality. So you're probably wondering, what is this Hive and what exactly does it do? What it is, is actually a very clever visual and audio amplifier for the iPhone 4 that does not require any kind of power whatsoever. And let me demonstrate. The device uses what's called a Fresno lens. And if you've ever seen the movie WALL-E, you've actually seen the Fresno lens in use when the little robot used it to magnify the, uh, the copy of Hello Dolly that was on his video iPod. And that basically drops into the slot. Back here is the holding slot for your iPhone. And you have to place it either in portrait mode or landscape mode. And you have to place it so that one of the speaker ports actually fits into this little slot right here. So basically, this part here is an acoustic cavity that will amplify the sound as it comes out. At the same time, looking through it, you're actually magnifying the image that's on the screen. And again, this is done without any er external power, just some optical and acoustic design to accomplish this. Now, this is something kind of interesting. We have shown this hive to several people to get their opinions of it. Their first thought is, wow, this would actually be good for somebody who is visually and or orally impaired. If somebody has seeing problems or hearing problems, they can still use their iPhone and be able to see and listen to it properly. And we feel, yeah, this is fine. This is a great usage for it. But at the same time, you're basically cutting out half the audience. Uh, again, the fact that this can do everything that it says it does and do it without any external power is a great, great trick. And there are a lot of people with regular sight and regular hearing that could still benefit from this. Um, our only concern is, as you can see, it's a little bulky, we think. Uh, a future model could possibly be trimmed down a little bit, still have the same psychoacoustic properties that the current Hive has. But again, this is a really clever design. It does what it's supposed to do, uh, and it's definitely going to be user-driven. So if you think this is something you can take advantage of, you know, help the people at Screen Door Studios make this a reality. For iSmashPhone.com, I'm Dactylanapest.